When using a UEI I.O. board, you configure the channels and then select and use a data acquisition methodology. RTD map and VMAP are software constructs for high-speed memory map data acquisition. DMAP will return one data point per channel, and VMAP will return many data points per channel. With either one, you assign a physical channel on an I.O. board to a software channel and the memory map through a single API call. You can collect data from an arbitrary number of I.O. boards and a variable number of channels per I.O. board. To get data and send data from all the channels in the memory map, you simply call refresh. If you wish to generate outputs and then read inputs, you can call refresh outputs and then refresh inputs separately. It's that simple. Here is the code to set up an RTD map. It has a total of six API calls to set it up, start and use it, and then shut it down. DMAP will return one data point for every channel in the memory map. Thus, it's very appropriate for AIO and DIO IO boards. VMAP accesses a hardware buffer so it returns many data points per channel to the memory map. VMAP is thus very appropriate for messaging I.O. boards like CAN bus, Serial, A rank 429, and MIL standard 1553, but it also can be used on AIO boards. Here is a key point. There is no difference in using a memory map on an AI board versus an AO board. The memory map portion and concepts are the same. What changes in each application is that you have to add code to configure the channels on the I.O. boards that you intend to use in the memory map. This is the real work of setting up your RTD map or VMAP application.